Hi everyone, Alba here. This is my solo walkthrough and guide to the level 8 heroic quest, Tomb of the Shadow King, on the Elite difficulty. Enjoy. Hi everyone, Warjack here. This is one of the flagging quests in Necropolis 2. You'll need to complete all four of the flagging quests if you want to get access to the Shadow Crypt. For some reason, the quest giver, if each one of the quests in Necropolis 1, 2, and 3 are all mixed together. So, this quest though is all the way out on the far side of uh, the Necropolis 2 cluster of quests. As you've noticed, probably, this quest is meant for at least two players. And that's because of a, uh, uh, well, it's the wind condition. But as far as I can tell, it's either bugged or it has been disabled, so it's no longer mandatory. So, following this quest is actually not that, not that hard. Okay. You have to walk across and talk to the Shadow King, and this will uh, let you move uh, move into the quest. You can jump down off this bridge now. See right away we get this option, this optional slate tool. These are invisible stalkers. Uh, just strike with your weapon and you'll let them. They don't really have that much hit points. But if you don't have like... Um, the ability to hit incorporeal um, monsters might miss a lot of times. These, uh, whatever they're called, uh, the lights, whatever, we're gonna keep on turning them out. That's the question objective. We need to turn them out. Now we'll come back over here and kill the mummy who's gonna spawn in this sarcophagi. There's random placement for traps. That means. There's a bunch of fixed locations that sometimes have traps and sometimes don't, so... Uh, this hallway is one of the places where you might have traps, right at the end of the hallway. Yeah, like most of Necropolis 2, all of these, uh, well, the vast majority of the monsters are incorporeal. And if you're a melee character, or ranged, and you don't have a way to hit incorporeal creatures consistently, you're gonna lose your mind. We're just missing, missing, missing. On the other hand, if you got AoE damage spells, yeah, this is a blast to go through here and just set everything on fire. And so there's two rings over here. There's an upper ring and an inner ring. And I'm just going to go through them. I'll open them up on the map and put out all the torches. Uh, these phase spiders are probably the worst. I want to look at these phase spiders while they're standing next to the torch. There's no effect on them. And I'm going to compare this to what we see later when we get any of the shadows next to these torches. So, we'll see that soon. Yeah, the spiders are not affected by these torches. Uh, regardless if the torch is on or off. I know there's one else here. But, um, any lasting AoE effect, like Wall of Fire, is great because you can just lay it down and every time they come back up, they'll take damage. You won't be able to do this thing with a hit and miss you and run away. There's a center room that has four ways to access it. Basically, there's four long ramps to go down to it. Two of them have breakable doors, and two of them, well, if you come to the top or the bottom, you'll be have a breakable door, and if you go from the sides, you'll have to get through a gate, but that gate's only accessible from the inside. You'll need either leave a pet or a hireling or a second player to get it from the other side.
Also, these named uh, shadows, these are optionals that might spawn in different locations. They just like give you some random gen loot. Like they wait for me to stop attacking before they spawn back in. Here, I'm gonna just put my pet over here. Of course, if at any point I want to get back into this room, I just go around. But instead, I'm gonna just put a pit and show you how you can use it. To get him to activate the switch and open the door for you. Yeah, this see this door can only be opened from the inside. And now I'll have my pet. I'll be able to tell them to pull it for me when I get there. Anyway, let's go back up to where I was. Continue on the outer ring. So all the way to center uh, top and the center bottom, there's these like offshoots you need to go down these hallways because there's torches down them. Out of all these monsters, the specters, the white uh, corpo uh, incorporeal creatures, are the ones that are most dangerous because of the negative levels. So, Something about the walls one second, I want to show you this. If you check out these monsters, these shades, they all have this thing, Curse. Okay, and it's because they're standing next to this torch. And while they have it, they're weaker. That means if you want to attack these monsters, it's better for you to attack them. I mean, if you're having problems, it's better for you to attack them first and kill them while they're standing next to the torch. And only after that, turn off the torch. That way you've got a, a tactical advantage on them. Okay, here's the tricky part. You see this like banner, this white banner? It's marking a part in the wall that you can actually walk through it. Now, each one of these rooms has uh, two ways you can walk out of it. And there's a, a banner on each side and uh, you're gonna have to go and whatever turn off this uh, this hidden uh, torch like I was saying before here I got them all standing next to the torch they all have the curse on them while they're standing next to the torch and once I kill them then I turn off the torch I like the fact that the gargoyles can't get, get uh, through this hallway so they all like clog the entrance Yeah, one of these two walls is walkable. So I'll stick to the right and come out. Kind of symmetrical, so it shouldn't be hard to follow along. I'm just collecting everything since I've got the cleave attacks. I'll be hitting everything at the same time, so I'll just gather everything up and go for it. The other thing to worry about in this quest is shadows, they hit you with the stat damage. So if you have a very low strength stat, uh, you might run into trouble. It'll keep on weakening you and it's even possible to become uh, helpless. So having some way to either use restoration potions uh, or lesser restoration if you don't have that. But lesser restoration, sorry, lesser restoration is easy to buy. You can just get it from uh, the marketplace. Um, but you'll have to chug many potions if you got lots of points of stat damage. Anyways, we're done with this uh, up shoot of the map. We want just like this on the bottom part of the map when we get there. For now, I'm just going to keep on going around the ring, the upper ring, and clear it out.
The breakables in this clutch also like randomly spread out. And it's very easy to miss them. Another one, another one of those uh, randomly spawning and named uh, shadows. Every time I get to these like uh, downstairs, what well, well, these walkways they go to the center. I like opening up the way all the way to the middle and coming back. If I wanted, I could get my uh, fire link or in this case my uh, iron defender to open up the, the gate for me. Yeah, and again, there's one of these invisible stalkers. You start randomly taking damage and you can't see what it is. It's probably a uh, invisible stalker. You have true seeing, you can like kind of see their outline. They're basically like uh, air elementals. Yeah. Let's see if I can get my hireling to come and open the gate for me. It's probably the wrong one. Genius. There you go. Good job. Yeah, we don't need it, but we're just, we're just showing the, the principle. The, this door over here is the end of the quest. You're supposed to like get the mummy to walk through the center. You would have somebody wait there in the middle, and you'd open up the gate for him and walk him through the center and bring him to the end room where you're supposed to fight him. Well, we're not going to do any of that. I mean, I'll show you how the end room works, but... Uh, it's not necessary if you want to just beat the quest. And one of these randomly placed uh, traps. Ow, this acid arrow is super annoying. Not like it's dangerous, but those little ticks of acid prevent me from like searching. strongly advise against collecting too many of these at once um, unless you want a death wish because uh, they can easily overwhelm you suddenly and you just die and you might not have a hireling who can res you yet so I'd recommend staying away from it Again, we've uh, made it back to the center. Yeah, and just like before, now we're gonna uh, do this offshoot, but this time it's all the way at the bottom of the map. Bottom center. These little hallways over here can sometimes be very heavily trapped. A whole bunch of spikes and stuff. I'm just saying you might want to heal before like try to run through it. Wayne is one of the keepers of the light. They keep the something about the walls behind the banners here catches your eye, but you're not sure exactly why. Now, if you're paying attention, the DM tells you that there's something about the wall. But if you have the DM turned off, or you're not listening to it, you'll miss it. And it's kind of hard to figure out by yourself that you can walk, just like walk to the wall. Yeah, but the place with the banner is what marks it. Yeah, this is a hallway trap. It's probably the spike trap. The whole hallway is full of spikes. See if I can find it. Ow. 
Ow. I guess the thing's on the other side. The thing about these spikes is you can walk through them when they're out. It's them coming out of the ground or the wall does the damage. Once it's in its erect position, it doesn't do damage. In this case, it's going in and out. It's going to hit you again and again if you stand in the same spot. So, wait for it to jut out and then run through. I'm taking a lot of damage. I'm not sure where to go. You can always look on the map and that will tell you like, oh, I'm supposed to head back into this room. The pa part of the passageway is missing on the map. You just have to like imagine it's there in your head. Honestly, I don't, I don't think things like this do much for players who get it. It's not like their experience is enhanced by that much more. But they have the downside of potentially ruining it for people who don't get it. So if you're stuck in here and you can't figure it out, you'll be bashing your head against the wall until you accidentally go through it. And you're like, oh, that's what you're supposed to do? And that can be very frustrating. And for those who already figured it out, they're like, oh yeah, this is weird. I don't see it as like worth the, the trade-off potentially uh, messing with players who don't figure it out right away for the minor uh, upside of some players enjoying it yeah anyway we're done with the side and we've got a few more torches to get we'll finish the upper ring and then we'll do the inner ring inner ring is the same thing as upper ring just smaller it's got only four torches on it yeah I think we have like one more torch on the upper ring the inner ring. Should be. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so once I've done the whole loop, I'll end up back where I started. In front of the mummy's uh, sarcophagi. Sarcophagus? And yeah, now we're gonna head down through any one of the center passages. And go down one, uh, well, we'll, go down from the big ring, we'll go down to the center ring. Yeah, so I stop uh, here. And let's do this uh, centering. Phase spiders should be illegal. Or at least they should have, you know, a longer uptime. Because it's hit and miss thing where they they attack you and then they vanish. It's just it's just super annoying. Uh, Albert here would just to point out that as far as I'm aware, in the like eight months since this video is reported, I think there was actually a patch who addressed exactly this. And apparently now the phase spiders uh, have a little bit longer of a phase, so it's easier to hit. So, yeah. Oh, 
Fun fact, if you notice, the gargoyles are not affected by the, uh, the torchlight. Just like the spiders are not, because they're not undead. Only the undead who are affected by it. And the gargoyles are shadow creatures, but they're not undead. Should be the last one. Uh, if you get it looking, if you're looking for something to deal uh, damage to incorporeal creatures, you either get a weapon who's got incorporeal bane, or you can get yourself a uh, an item who's got ethereal on it or ghostly. Basically, what it will do is make it so any weapon you use will hit the. Uh, uh, well, ethereal creatures or ghostly creatures. Yeah, let's go get the last torch and we're done. The darkness has awoken and soon. The east wing will now open when you lure him there. Remember, only an intense burst of light will render him defenseless. Okay. So now, technically speaking, the end of this quest is going to be opened. Now we're supposed to go get uh, the mummy and walk him across the quest right down the middle and bring him into this room over here. Now we'll, this door only opens when once you activate the, the mummy himself. Let's go do that. Again, I could go around, but having a pet over here just makes it faster. Okay, approaching him will activate the fight. Uh, right out of the box, so to speak, you can attack him and actually just kill him. So there's no need to do this. Uh, I'm just going to do it to show you the official way it was intended to be done. Yeah, it's supposed to run him down through the center. Where is he? Is he that slow or did I just uh, lose his aggro or something? We'll see. Oh. Kind of got stuck. Guess I got too far away from him. Luckily, uh, he doesn't really attack that hard. He does his mummy rot and stuff. Who so kind of uh, reduces your healing. But you can get rid of it using remove curse and then remove disease. Order is C and then D. Alphabetical order. Yeah, so now this door's open and we can bring him over here. What you have over here is you got this room. You see the rune on the floor, the mark on the floor? You're supposed to stand him in the middle over there and then blast him with light. And once he's blasted with light, you can, uh, well, it renders him uh, uh, damageable. You can see right now, he's al you can already damage him. But I'm going to try to use, uh, well, the intention. The, the way it's supposed to be done is you're supposed to climb up these ladders and pull these levers. Uh, initially, he would not be able to be damaged at all before you did this. But now, when, just as soon as he spawns, you can damage him. But if you actually use this uh, method and turn on the light, he'll go back to his immune state. So I'll show you that, how, how that looks. 
By the way, it's not possible to do both sides at the same time, okay? The timing is too tight. You do need a hireling or a pet. So, there's no way around this, unfortunately. Whoops. Okay, now I need them to like stop right in the middle. Uh, the way to do that, you're supposed to like run across the room and outpace him and just climb up the ladder and that should make him so he like stops halfway in the middle. Doesn't always work. Again, if you had a if you had two players, you'd have one to stand in the middle, take the aggro. Or you need three players for it, really. Yeah, he doesn't want to come to me. I'm gonna have to. Uh, well, I'll clear out these uh, this round and try again. Could be that the boss does not take damage from your actual weapon, but it does take damage from the like elemental damage of your weapon, the extra damage. I haven't actually checked it out. I know I've never had a problem killing him, so that, that's all I'm, I'm gonna keep on the subject. I'm trying to do my best in these videos to show off all the different little like works of different quests. Especially the ones that nobody does. And I know nobody does this so This might be the only time you get to see this. Yeah, okay. I'm going to start and I'm going to run across the room. Climb up. Hopefully this should make him stop like halfway through the room. I don't see him. Yeah, these invisible stalkers are super annoying because they're going to kill my pet. To somehow run and make it to the ladder without a moving in the center. Stand next to this ladder and try to run to the other ladder. Should be like exactly uh, the distance that I need. See if it works. Okay, it looks like it's going to be timed right now. Ah. Ladders. Nope. I fumbled that ladder. Go to the other side and see if I can time it this time, right? Ah, there we go. Finally. Okay, yeah. That was a lot of faffing about just for this. 
There you go. Turn on the light. Now he's got the curse on top of him. Like we had before. Yeah, with all the little like lanterns. So yeah, now that's what it does for him. It basically hits him with the light. Rats. You see what just happened now? <laughs> he's got two hit points left. Oh my gosh. I can't kill him now. He's completely immune. Once I've activated the switch, now he won't take any damage at all. But now I have to do <laughs> This is so dumb. Oh my gosh, sorry. Yeah, but I think now I figured it out, kind of. Hopefully I can get the timing right. Run him around and get up onto the ladder fast enough. I keep on messing up this ladder. So basically, I'll have him stand next to one ladder, and I'll run, I guess, jump down through the middle, and uh, just run to the other ladder, and hopefully that will be the proper timing. Let's see. Is he still in the center? Uh, I don't know. I hope so. My pet to activate one, I'll activate the other one. And we'll see. Ah, he can walk through the gate. Nice. I believe Nereza has misjudged you. Well, there you go. Yeah, his gates open up. They're like supposed to hold them in, but I guess they don't hold them in from the outside, so he can walk through them. My loot. One chest. Kind of lame. You get a scarab, so. If you're going for the scarab powder, you'll need it. Yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to recognize this in a thumbnail. I'll see about that. Wow, 31 minutes. Well, at least at least five to ten minutes of that was me messing around here at the end. I got the ransack bonus and the con the, what's it called conquest bonus. So yeah. Yeah. Overall, this is one of like the longer quests and the necro tomb. They don't have to go that long. And if you have AOE damage spells, you probably can blast through it really fast. yeah that's it well as always if you've enjoyed this video please hit like, hit like and subscribe thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you all in my next video bye